News with Katrina Smith. Welcome and good morning. Thank you so much for joining on us on this Saturday. It's November 16th. I'm Katrina Smith. Meteorologist James DeFazio is in the Weather Center. Cool start to your day. Does it warm up throughout the day? We'll get to that in our forecast. But first, everyone was talking about the beaver moon last night. Yes, and it is going to warm up. It's yes. a super beaver moon. Yes, right? um, it's our last super moon of the year. Yep, okay. and this was the beaver moon. Uh, my actually, this is Brent, taken from Brenda Castelli in East Utica. This actually happens to be my next door neighbor. She's fantastic. She's so good with the camera. Um, absolutely beautiful shot of the, boover, of the beaver moon from last night. Taking a look at downtown Utica right now. Plenty of sunshine out there, which is going to be the story for the majority of the weekend. We're expecting sunny, seasonably warm weather this weekend. Increasing clouds later in the day on Sunday, and then showers arrive by Monday morning. And a big pattern change arrives during the middle of next week, and we'll have details about that. Your full battery, Storm Tracker 2 live radar, all is quiet out there with the plenty of sunshine across the state. Lots of sunny and partly sunny skies being reported. Temperatures primarily in the upper 30s, lower 40s across central New York, 37 and sunny in Rome, with just a light breeze out of the northwest today. We are going to get into the low 50s with plenty of sunshine tonight. 26 degrees for mostly clear skies for a pretty chilly evening with another frost. But it's our last frost chance for the seven-day forecast. And we'll have details on that pattern change coming up soon. Right back over to you, Katrina. Thank you so much, James. Five people, including one child, are out of a home. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Good morning. Another sunny, pleasant weekend, especially for Saturday. Things are going to take a change during the week. Let's get right into the forecast. Taking a look at downtown Utica right now, you can see those ample blue skies, plenty of sunshine across the area. High pressure is going to continue to drive our weather and bring in this sunshine for the majority of, or I should say for the entirety of Saturday and for the majority of Sunday before things start to change as we head into Monday. Currently up in Rome, 37 degrees. We're warming up slowly but surely. Sunny skies are being reported as they are across most of central New York. Just a six mile an hour wind out of the northwest. Across the state right now, plenty of sunshine and partly sunny skies being reported. Here in central New York, we're looking at mid upper 30s and lower 40s. A little bit warmer out to the west in the urban locations, more mid to upper 40s. We do expect those temperatures to work in our direction as the day progresses. UFO battery, Storm Tracker 2 live radar, all is quiet out there, and that will remain the case for today. The radar and satellite imagery, the few clouds and few areas of patchy drizzle that were around overnight have subsided, and that will continue to remain throughout the day today. We expect almost entirely sunny skies for your Saturday. Tonight, with those mostly clear conditions, it's going to present a great opportunity to view the passing of the International Space, International Space Station. It flies by tonight at 6.43 p.m. It's going to be visible for a full three minutes. It appears in the west-southwest and then will disappear in the west-northwest. And It's going to be about 48 degrees above the horizon. So it's going to be a nice pass and it's going to provide some, some Rather, very, rather nice viewing um, of the space station. Taking a look at the skycast for today, a sunny, sunny, warm day for November. We warm into the low 50s. Tonight we cool off rather quickly. We do drop down tonight into the low, t or excuse me, into the mid 20s. Skycast is underdoing the lows just a tad. As we move into Sunday, clouds aren't around for the majority of the day. Some fair weather clouds and faded sunshine to begin the day. By midday, we're still we're, we're in the lower 50s, but those high clouds begin to work in for the evening. We're expecting sunny skies to give way to partly cloudy skies to eventually become mostly cloudy for the evening. By 11 p.m., those clouds are prevalent. By Monday morning, 7 a.m. Monday morning, we have those showers arriving. Some scattered showers are going to be around through mid-morning mid on Monday before things begin to dry out. By Monday afternoon, things actually do clear out. 
to the point where we actually may even see some breaks of sunshine. Today, high 52 degrees, plenty of sunshine, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine tonight, 26 degrees low, mostly, for a low, mostly clear skies. Big pattern change expected on Thursday with the arrival of a cold front, and yes, that is some wet snow showing up on Friday. James, what's our trivia question? I think I know the answer. It was uh, the red flags are for fire. You would be correct. So increased fire risk is associated with red flag warnings. The reason we brought this up is because there's a lot of red flag warnings currently right being now. issued across, especially to the southeast, almost the entire state of New Jersey, almost the entire state of Massachusetts. It's as close as us to Ju Dutchess County. Otsego County still has that permanent burn, burn ban in effect, and we expect that to continue until we get some much needed rainfall for our area. So really, no, no bonfires? Not yet. Not no. at this point? Not at all. All right. Not at all. Thank you so much. Well, it is firearm season for <laughs> Welcome back, and thank you for joining us for another half hour of News Channel 2 weekend. Today, I'm Katrina Smith. Get you over to the Weather Center with meteorologist James DeFezio. Everyone last night talking about the super beaver moon. It was bright the last two nights. I, I, I saw people on social media saying it felt like daylight outside. The clear skies have been phenomenal for yeah. viewing this week, and it's going to continue for the next couple of nights. So even though it's a, the full moon has passed, yep. if you'd like to go back out tonight or tomorrow night, clear skies are going to, it, especially tonight, especially tonight. Uh, Brenda in East Utica got a perfect shot of the moon as it was rising last night. This is right in East Utica, right across from Proctor Park. Absolutely beautiful photo. Downtown Utica right now, ample sunshine, which is going to be the story for your Saturday. Sunshine galore. Here's an idea of what we're tracking. The sunny sneeze, a sunny, seasonably warm weekend. Increasing clouds later in the day on Sunday before showers arrive Monday morning. And then a big pattern change arrives in the middle of next week. York for Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar. All is quiet across central New York. Across the state, plenty of sunshine, some mixed sunshine being reported at some stations, primarily upper 30s and low 40s across central New York. Currently 37 for a temperature in Rome, and sunny skies being reported. Today we're expecting temperatures to get into the lower 50s with a high around 52 degrees, high, um, with plenty of sunny skies. Tonight, another clear night with lows in the mid-20s. We'll have uh, details on that pattern change coming up in just a couple of minutes. Uh, Katrina, right back over to you. Thank you so much, James. The Pentagon has failed. WKTV Plus, your new choice for news and weather, plus a whole lot more. Watch WKTV Plus over the air on WKTV 2.3 and on Spectrum Channel 1246. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist James DeFazio. Good morning. A sunny, seasonably warm Saturday on par on track for, for us in Central New York. However, there are some changes in the forecast expected for next week. Let's take a look at what we're tracking specifically. Taking a look at downtown Utica right now, you can see that wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. There's not a cloud to be found in the sky right now. Beautiful uh, horizon, some rays of sunshine peeking in front of the camera there. Absolutely fantastic skies. We, continue, we expect this to be the majority of the day today. We expect the sky to primarily be clear for the majority of the day. It's going to be a mostly sunny day, if not entirely sunny. Currently all sunny in Rome, 37 degrees, just a light breeze at six miles per hour out of the northwest. Across New York State right now, temperatures are in the upper 30s, low 40s across central New York. Plenty of sunshine being reported. Even the areas that aren't reporting pure sunshine are reporting partial sunshine. It is a tad warmer out here back in the, back in the urban locations. Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar. All is quiet as high pressure is in control of our weather today and is going to allow for that sunshine to prevail. Radar and satellite imagery, you can see those few, few areas of patchy drizzle from early this morning and late last night. Some high, some high clouds that were around as well over the overnight. These have subsided, things have cleared out, and it is 
very pretty out there. Tonight we have the International Space Station flying by at 6.43 p.m. and those clear skies are going to allow for fantastic viewing if you are interested. It's going to be visible for a full three minutes, going to appear in the west-southwest of the sky, disappear to the west-northwest, and it's going to be about 48 degrees above the horizon, which is a pretty substantially, pretty substantial pass, pretty good showing for the space station. Taking a look at SkyCast, as we move forward through Saturday, warm and dry, no, no clouds even showing up, temperatures rise into the low 50s. Tonight, a chilly night. Again, we, we dip into the mid-20s, possibly upper 20s. Some, some frost and freeze, though, for everyone again. Uh, for Sunday morning. Sunday, we start the day partly, partly sunny. However, clouds begin to increase throughout the day. We warm up to similar temperatures. We expect temperatures to get to the low 50s. By Sunday evening, clouds thicken up even more. We're getting, we're getting close to mostly cloudy by Sunday night. 11 p.m., we are mostly cloudy. Showers start to move in overnight. By Monday morning, those showers are right on our doorstep. Showers continue to be around scattered through the morning. However, by midday, it does clear out. We even get some breaks of sunshine, and it does even warm up yet again Monday into those low 50s. Today, sunny skies with a high of 52 degrees. Tonight, 26, mostly clear skies, possibly a cloud or two. Taking a look at the seven-day forecast. Very warm seasonably for the next three days, 52 Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Some showers late Sunday into Monday. Clouds increase Sunday afternoon. Tuesday and Wednesday look dry with mostly with uh, partly sunny skies. Big pattern change arrives Thursday with the passage of a cold front, widespread rainfall, and brings us into a much cooler weather pattern. And that's, that is a wet rain snow mix being shown there for Friday. We're expecting our first flakes of the season next weekend. Any guesses on the supermoon origin? Yeah, let's go with D. Tree chopping under full moons. Nope. <laughs> it's actually uh, the Native <laughs> Americans. Uh, they, they were very observant. They noticed mm -hmm. that around the time that that moon occurred, yep. beavers were preparing for winter, whether it be oh. storing food, yep. getting ready to hibernate, so Eating on and a lot. so forth. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we all do this time exactly, of year, right? Exactly. Thank you so much, James. We'll be back after this. In the Northeast are under red flag warnings today as severe drought worsens concerns for even more wildfires. Firefighters downstate have been battling the Jennings Creek wildfire along the border with New Jersey since last week. Meanwhile, the Southern Plains, they're bracing for heavy rainfall tomorrow. Jen Sullivan is tracking the extreme weather sweeping across the country. Firefighters in Greenwood Lake, New York, just about an hour northwest of New York City, battling wildfires this week. Much of the region grappling with severe drought, further fueling conditions for fires like this and forcing some residents out of their homes. We realized suddenly it was like 100 yards away from these houses right here. More than 5,000 acres have burned since the fires broke out along the New York-New Jersey border last Friday. Some 300 firefighters from multiple agencies, some as far as Montana, helping battle the flames. Very, very scary. Almost surreal. Like, you know it's there, but you're like, is this really happening, you know? But, you know, it's your home and you're just so, so scared of what's going to happen. While officials say it's nearly 90% contained, firefighters concerned about conditions Saturday as winds picked up. We are very concerned about those winds. The extreme dry conditions triggering red flag warnings across the Northeast from New Jersey up to Maine Saturday. Our crews will be out there monitoring and working some hose lines, cooling any hot spots, and then uh, just making sure there's no additional flare ups along the line. As the Northeast deals with drought, the Southern Plains bracing for severe weather. Strong storms Sunday night into Monday morning could cause isolated tornadoes and damaging winds. Western Texas and parts of Oklahoma could see up to four inches of rain. In New York, I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. One woman was injured in a Friday night stabbing in the Turkish forecast tonight at 6 with meteorologist James DeFazio, and it's going to stay dry. No kinds of precipitation in the very near term. No significant drought relief. Some showers are expected Sunday night into Monday. Next drought relief chance is really going to occur wet th uh, on Thursday, Wednesday mm. night into Thursday morning. And we had a beautiful day today for the opening day of hunting season. Downtown Utica right now, plenty of clear skies out there. It's an idea of what we're tracking. We have 
quite a bit in the forecast. It's going to be a clear night tonight and a sunny start to the day on Sunday. Showers arrive Sunday night into Monday as clouds increase throughout the day. And then we are in for a big pattern change before the end of next week. Taking a look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Live Radar. All is quiet. High pressure is going to be in control of our weather and through the day tomorrow. Around the state, most stations reporting that the sun has set. Temperatures across central New York are in the upper 30s or lower 40s. Current conditions at Rome, 40 with clear skies, just a light breeze, 6 miles an hour out of the west. Tonight, we're expecting a low around 28 degrees with mostly clear skies. Some frost and freeze across the region. Tomorrow, 52 degrees with plenty of sunshine before those clouds increase later in the day. And we'll have an update or a, we'll have more information on just how drastic of a change we're looking at coming up. Ben? All right, James, thank you very much. Greta Medor has been. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist James DeFazio. Good evening. A fantastic start to the hunting season with a, fan, a great day of weather here this Saturday and another fantastic day expected on Sunday. However, we have some drastic changes in the forecast for later in the week. Some big changes to our weather pattern are expected. Looking at downtown Utica right now, plenty of clear skies. We expect that to maintain the we expect that, we expect that to maintain um, the be that way for the majority of the evening. And mostly clear skies are going to be the name of the game for tonight, which is going to allow for some chilly temperatures. Already down to 40 in Rome with clear skies. Light wind at 6, making a feel like temperature of 36 degrees. Across New York State, most of the areas reporting that the sun has set. Some areas out to the west still hanging on to some cloud cover. However, here in central New York, we are mostly clear all, all stations reporting completely clear skies where it's not in the upper 40s or at 40 we're in the upper 30s across central new york your full battery storm tracker 2 live radar is quiet as high pressure will continue to drive our weather before a front arrives tomorrow evening late in the evening cloud cover is just hanging on out in the west but here in central new york we are completely clear and that is going to continue tonight and into tomorrow and allow for a sunny morning before clouds increase during the day on Sunday. Tonight we have a, an International Space Station flyby. Occurs at 6.43 p.m. The clear skies are going to allow for a fantastic viewing for this. So if you're interested, it's a great opportunity to see the space station. It's going to be visible for a full three minutes. It's going to appear in the west-southwest portions of the sky, disappear in the west-northwest portion of the sky, and be about 48 degrees above the horizon. Taking a look at the skycast, Tonight, we cool off, clear skies. We dip down into the low to mid 20s. You can see some fog beginning to show up there in the valley locations. By morning, some fog is prevalent in the usual locations. Sunday, we start partly sunny. Clouds do begin to work in as the day progresses. We do, however, warm up into the low 50s. However, by the evening time, clouds are pretty thick. It becomes mostly cloudy. Overnight, showers begin to work in from the west as that cold front swings through. By Monday morning, we're still dealing with some of those lingering showers. Fortunately, though, they don't hang on for too long. By Monday afternoon, we're into the low 50s with partly sunny skies developing. We're going to have some breaks of sun on sunshine despite the day starting with some showers. Tonight, 28 degrees for a low, mostly clear skies, areas of frost and freeze. 52 for a high tomorrow. Clouds increase throughout the day before that rain arrives. Those showers arrive for Sunday evening into Monday morning. We dry out early Monday morning, which is why I left the rain off the seven day. Tuesday and Wednesday, partly cloudy skies. Temperatures right around 50 degrees. Big pattern change arrives on Thursday. Widespread rainfall went Thursday morning. And then, yes, we have a mix of rain and snow in the forecast for Friday and Saturday, which we will be tracking throughout the week. We'll be right back. Northeast are under red flag warnings today as severe drought worsens concerns for more wildfires. Firefighters have been battling the Jennings Creek wildfire along the border with New Jersey since last week. Meanwhile, in the southern plains, they're bracing for heavy rainfall tomorrow. Jen Sullivan is tracking the extreme weather sweeping across the country. Firefighters in Greenwood Lake, New York, just about an hour northwest of New York City, battling wildfires this week. Much of the region grappling with severe drought. 
further fueling conditions for fires like this and forcing some residents out of their homes. We realized suddenly it was like 100 yards away from these houses right here. More than 5,000 acres have burned since the fires broke out along the New York, New Jersey border last Friday. Some 300 firefighters from multiple agencies, some as far as Montana, helping battle the flames. Very, very scary. Almost surreal. Like, you know, it's there, but you're like, is this really happening? You know, but, you know, it's your home and you're just so, so scared of what's going to happen. While officials say it's nearly 90% contained, firefighters concerned about conditions Saturday as winds picked up. We are very concerned about those winds. The extreme dry conditions triggering red flag warnings across the Northeast from New Jersey up to Maine Saturday. Our crews will be out there monitoring and working some hose lines, cooling any hot spots, and then uh, just making sure there's no additional flare ups along the line. As the Northeast deals with drought, the Southern Plains bracing for severe weather. Strong storms Sunday night into Monday morning could cause isolated tornadoes and damaging winds. Western Texas and parts of Oklahoma could see up to four inches of rain. In New York, I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. Meteorologist James Pazio joins us now. Is that system that's uh, out in the Midwest right now, is that going to bring us any relief in the near future? Not near future, unless you consider Thursday morning near future. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna take some time for us to get any substantial rain. Some light showers uh, Monday morning, but nothing in terms of drought relief until Thursday. Unfortunately, taking a look at downtown Utica right now. Clear skies are going to be the name of the game tonight, but you can see there is a thin cloud layer over the Mohawk Valley right now. It's not even showing up on our uh, on the satellite imagery. It's very low to the ground. We're expecting mainly a clear night tonight, a sunny start to the to the day Sunday, showers on Sunday night into Monday morning, and then a big pattern change arrives next week. The Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar, all is quiet as high pressure will drive our weather until the low pressure arrives after sunset tomorrow evening. Around the state, quite a variance in temperature. Depending on if it's clear or cloudy, there is that small little band of clouds coming off of the lake where it is much warmer. Primarily upper 20s across central New York right now, which is going to be near the low. 28 degrees and clear skies being reported in Rome with calm winds. 28 is going to be about the low. We're not expecting it to be too much colder. Mostly clear skies tonight, or excuse me, tomorrow. 52 clouds increase throughout the day. It's going to be a sunny start. Clouds increase throughout the day, mostly cloudy by sunset. Showers develop overnight. We'll have more details coming up. Ben, back over to you. All right, James, thank you very much. Greta Medor has been a staple at the WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist James DeFazio. Good evening. A pleasant start to the weekend. A very nice Saturday. A great day for the first day of rifle season. We're expecting that to continue into Sunday before things do change in the middle of next week. Taking a look at downtown Utica right now, you can't see some high cloud or some low clouds out there. There is a thin layer of clouds coming through the Mohawk Valley right now. Elsewhere across New York State, it's completely clear. We do expect these to slowly subside. Up in Rome, where there are no clouds, currently clear skies being reported and 28 degrees, much, much cooler than it is here in Utica. Calm winds, fortunately, so no wind chill factor being reported. Temperatures across the state varying quite, quite widely. 28 in Rome, 32 down here in Hamilton, which is normally cooler than Rome, 38 down in Binghamton, 42 out in Syracuse, 14 degree difference between uh, Rome and Syracuse right now. And that's basically because of that cloud cover. Taking a look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar, all is quiet and we expect that to remain the case until after sunset tomorrow when a low pressure, an area of low pressure be begins to move in from the west. Taking a look at the radar and satellite picture I just wanted to show quickly, those clouds that were showing up on the webcam, they're not even showing up on our satellite imagery. That's how low to the ground they are. They're not even being picked up by the beam. Our rainfall outlook, we're expecting a dry day entirely on Sunday. I wish I had Sunday night here because most of the day Monday is going to be dry. We're expecting showers late Sunday night into Monday morning. By mid-Monday morning, the rain has subsided. We're expecting a mainly dry day dry for Tuesday and for Wednesday before widespread rain on Thursday. Wind outlook, calm winds on Sunday, bit breezy 10 to 15 miles an hour Wednesday, calm winds Tuesday, 
winds pick up Wednesday night. Calm winds during the day Wednesday, but as we head into Thursday, winds become, we go from breezy to windy during the day on Thursday. Tonight we cool off rather quickly. We dip down into the mid-20s if, we're not there, if you're not there already. By tomorrow morning, some widespread frost and freeze. We start the day partly sunny. We warm up rather quickly. We get into the low 50s. Clouds begin to work in during the middle of the day. We go from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. By overnight, those clouds really thicken up. As I speed up here till 3 o'clock in the morning, Monday morning, you can see those showers beginning to work in. Those scattered showers work through the morning hours. But by 1.30 p.m. on Monday afternoon, we're in the low 50s with sunshine. We are expecting breaks of sun on the, during the day on Monday, despite the fact that there is going to be some rainfall in the morning. 28 degrees for a low tonight, mostly clear skies, just some, a cloud or two. Increasing clouds throughout the day tomorrow with a high of 52 degrees. Big pattern change on the way Thursday. Big cold front, widespread rainfall brings us back to much cooler temperatures, and we're expecting plenty of rain-snow mix for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist James DeFazio. Good Saturday evening. We had a great start to the hunting season for the hunters out there. It was a beautiful Saturday. We have more fair weather expected for Sunday before a pattern change later in the week. Let's take a look at what we're tracking. Clear weather tonight. It's going to allow for chilly temperatures and a sunny start to the day on Sunday. Showers arrive on Sunday night and they last into Monday morning. Clouds increase throughout the day Sunday. And then a big pattern change arrives next week on Thursday, which is going to feel quite abrupt after the November that we've had and the very warm above average October. Taking a look at the radar and satellite imagery, high pressure is still in control of the weather. We do not have to worry about low pressure coming in until tomorrow evening overnight when that front does arrive Sunday night into Monday morning. Until then, just some increasing clouds tomorrow afternoon. No clouds working in from the northwest, which is where our wind direction is from right now. It's going to be a clear evening out there and great opportunities for viewing anything in the night sky. Plenty of clear skies being recorded across central New York, primarily upper 30s, some areas still hanging on to low 40s in central New York. Wanted to show this beautiful photo of the of the full beaver supermoon last night that was taken by Brenda in East Utica. Absolutely picturesque photo, and I want to stress that it's another good night to see it. Even though it was t technically full last night, it's still going to be very bright and very vibrant tonight, especially with the clear skies that we're anticipating. In addition to that, we have a space station flyby tonight. At 6.43 p.m., the space station is going to fly by for three full minutes. It's going to appear in the west-northwest portion of the sky, disappear in the west-northwest portion of the sky, and going to be about 48 degrees above the horizon. This is going to shoot right across the sky, very difficult to miss, very easy to see with the naked eye, and the weather is absolutely perfect for viewing. Taking a look at our temperature trend, things are going to change. I want to have these numbers very kind. Things that are going to come beyond this, not, not too kind. Low 50s for you, the beginning of your week as well as the end of your weekend. A tad cooler Tuesday, Wednesday, but we're right around 50 both days. A chilly day on Thursday as the front moves through and brings the pattern change. We do warm up a little bit on Wednesday, but then after that we settle into an extended period of much more seasonably cool temperatures. Temperatures, we're talking, low, we're talking high temperatures in the low 40s, upper 30s at best, with chances potentially even for some wet, rain, some wet snow. Rainfall outlook, if I could put Sunday night in here, I would, but uh, I can't, unfortunately. It's just each day. We're expecting a dry day Sunday. Monday during the day, just a couple of showers early in the morning, but the majority of the rain falls Sunday night. And we're expecting dry weather for Tuesday and Wednesday before that widespread rainfall arrives on Thursday. For the wind outlook, Sunday, calm winds tomorrow, nothing to, nothing to worry about in the way of of a breeze. Monday looks a slight 
Looks a tad breezy, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. Calm winds again on Tuesday. Calm winds for the majority of the day on Wednesday. However, as we move into Thursday, Wednesday night into Thursday, looks very breezy, especially during the day on Thursday. Tonight, very clear skies. We cool off very steadily into the overnight. We dip down into the low, into the upper and mid 20s. Some fog showing up there in our usual location. Some of the valley locations are going to have some fog tomorrow morning. Clears out rather quickly though, because we do start the day with partly sunny skies. We warm up rather abruptly, right up to near in the low 50s. Clouds thicken up as the day progresses, and. As we move towards the evening hours, we go from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. As we move into Monday morning, showers begin to work their way in from the west as that front, approach, as that front approaches. By 8 a.m., though, most of the rainfall has already slid off to the east. By 1.30 p.m. Monday, we're into the low 50s, and there's plenty of sunshine peeking through. We're going to have breaks of sun on Monday, despite the day starting with rainfall, which not a bad way to start the week, especially with what's coming at the end of it. Tonight, 28 degrees for a low with mostly clear skies, some frost and freeze across the area. 52 degrees tomorrow, clouds increase throughout the day, a sunny morning, mostly cloudy evening, some showers overnight. I'm going to actually stand in front of the seven day for now, talk about Thursday in particular. Widespread rain arrives Wednesday night into Thursday, bringing heavy rainfall for all of central New York. Temperatures drop pretty significantly on Thursday, making for a chilly day on Friday before chances for rain and snow as we move into the weekend. There's just no room. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist James DeFazio. Good Saturday evening. We had a great start to the hunting season for the hunters out there. It was a beautiful Saturday. We have more fair weather expected for Sunday before a pattern change later in the week. Let's take a look at what we're tracking. Clear weather tonight. It's going to allow for chilly temperatures and a sunny start to the day on Sunday. Showers arrive on Sunday night and they last into Monday morning. Clouds increase throughout the day Sunday. And then a big pattern change arrives next week on Thursday, which is going to feel quite abrupt after the November that we've had and the very warm above average October. Taking a look at the radar and satellite imagery, high pressure is still in control of the weather. We do not have to worry about low pressure coming in until tomorrow evening overnight when that front does arrive Sunday night into Monday morning. Until then, just some increasing clouds tomorrow afternoon. No clouds working in from the northwest, which is where our wind direction is from right now. It's going to be a clear evening out there and great opportunities for viewing anything in the night sky. Plenty of clear skies being recorded across central New York, primarily upper 30s, some areas still hanging on to low 40s in, in central New York. Wanted to show this beautiful photo of the, of the full beaver supermoon last night that was taken by Brenda in East Utica. Absolutely picturesque photo, and I want to stress that Another good night to see it, even though it was t technically full last night, it's still going to be very bright and very vibrant tonight, especially with the clear skies that we're anticipating. In addition to that, we have a space station flyby tonight. At 6.43 p.m., the space station is going to fly by for three full minutes. It's going to appear in the west-northwest portion of the sky, disappear in the west-northwest portion of the sky, and going to be about 48 degrees above the horizon. This is going to shoot right across the sky, very difficult to miss, very easy to see with the naked eye, and the weather is absolutely perfect for viewing. Taking a look at our temperature trend, things are going to change. I want these numbers very kind. Things that are going to come beyond this, not, not too kind. Low 50s for your, the beginning of your week as well as the end of your weekend. A tad cooler Tuesday, Wednesday, but we're right around 50 both days. A chilly day on Thursday as the front moves through and brings the pattern change. We do warm up a little bit on Wednesday, but then after that we settle into an extended period of much more seasonably cool temperatures. Temperatures, we're talking, low, we're talking high temperatures in the low 40s, upper 30s at best, with chances potentially even for some wet, rain, some wet snow. Rainfall outlook, if I could put Sunday night in here, I would, but uh, I can't, unfortunately. It's just each day. We're expecting a dry day Sunday. Monday during the day, just a couple of showers early in the morning, but the majority of the rain 
falls Sunday night, and we're expecting dry weather for Tuesday and Wednesday before that widespread rainfall arrives on Thursday. For the wind outlook, Sunday, calm winds tomorrow, nothing to, nothing to worry about in the way of, of a breeze. Monday looks a slight looks a tad breezy, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds, calm winds again on Tuesday, calm winds for the majority of the day on Wednesday. However, as we move into Thursday, Wednesday night into Thursday looks very breezy, especially during the day on Thursday. Tonight, very clear skies. We cool off very steadily into the overnight. We dip down into the low, into the upper and mid 20s. Some fog showing up there in our usual location. Some of the valley locations are going to have some fog tomorrow morning. Clears out rather quickly though, because we do start the day with partly sunny skies. We warm up rather abruptly, right up to near in the low 50s. Clouds thicken up as the day progresses and. As we move towards the evening hours, we go from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. As we move into Monday morning, showers begin to work their way in from the west as that front, appro as that front approaches. By 8 a.m., though, most of the rainfall has already slid off to the east. By 1.30 p.m. Monday, we're into the low 50s, and there's plenty of sunshine peeking through. We're going to have breaks of sun on Monday, despite the day starting with rainfall, which not a bad way to start the week, especially with what's coming at the end of it. Tonight, 28 degrees for a low with mostly clear skies, some frost and freeze across the area. 52 degrees tomorrow, clouds increase throughout the day, a sunny morning, mostly cloudy evening, some showers overnight. I'm going to actually stand in front of the seven day for now, talk about Thursday in particular. Widespread rain arrives Wednesday night into Thursday, bringing heavy rainfall for all of central New York. Temperatures drop pretty significantly on Thursday, making for a chilly day on Friday before chances for rain and snow as we move into the weekend. If you York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist James DeFazio. Good Saturday evening. We had a great start to the hunting season for the hunters out there. It was a beautiful Saturday. We have more fair weather expected for Sunday before a pattern change later in the week. Let's take a look at what we're tracking. Clear weather tonight. It's going to allow for chilly temperatures and a sunny start to the day on Sunday. Showers arrive on Sunday night and they last into Monday morning. Clouds increase throughout the day Sunday. And then a big pattern change arrives next week on Thursday, which is going to feel quite abrupt after the November that we've had and the very warm above average October. Taking a look at the radar and satellite imagery, high pressure is still in control of the weather. We do not have to worry about low pressure coming in until tomorrow evening overnight when that front does arrive Sunday night into Monday morning. Until then, just some increasing clouds tomorrow afternoon. No clouds working in from the northwest, which is where our wind direction is from right now. It's going to be a clear evening out there and great opportunities for viewing anything in the night sky. Plenty of clear skies being recorded across central New York, primarily upper 30s, some areas still hanging on to low 40s in central New York. I wanted to show this beautiful photo of the, of the full beaver supermoon last night that was taken by Brenda in East Utica. Absolutely picturesque photo, and I want to stress that another good night to see it even though it was technically full last night it's still going to be very bright and very vibrant tonight especially with the clear skies that we're anticipating in addition to that we have a space station flyby tonight at 6 43 p.m the space station is going to fly by for three full minutes it's going to appear in the west northwest portion of the sky disappear in the west northwest portion of the sky and going to be about 48 degrees above the horizon. This is going to shoot right across the sky, very difficult to miss, very easy to see with the naked eye, and the weather is absolutely perfect for viewing. Taking a look at our temperature trend, things are going to change. I want these numbers very kind. Things that are going to come beyond this, not, not too kind. Low 50s for you at the beginning of your week as well as the end of your weekend. A tad cooler Tuesday, Wednesday, but right around 50 both days. A chilly day on Thursday as the front moves through and brings the pattern change. We do warm up a little bit on Wednesday, but then after that we settle into an extended period of much more seasonably cool temperatures. Temperatures, we're talking, low, we're talking high temperatures in the low 40s, upper 30s at best, with chances potentially even for some wet, some wet snow. 
rainfall outlook. If I could put Sunday night in here, I would, but uh, I can't, unfortunately. It's just each day. We're expecting a dry day Sunday. Monday during the day, just a couple of showers early in the morning, but the majority of the rain falls Sunday night, and we're expecting dry weather for Tuesday and Wednesday before that widespread rainfall arrives on Thursday. For the wind outlook, Sunday, calm winds tomorrow, nothing to, nothing to worry about in the way of, of a breeze. Monday looks a slight, looks a tad breezy, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. Calm winds again on Tuesday. Calm winds for the majority of the day on Wednesday. However, as we move into Thursday, Wednesday night into Thursday looks very breezy, especially during the day on Thursday. Tonight, very clear skies. We cool off very steadily into the overnight. We dip down into the low, into the upper and mid 20s. Some fog showing up there in our usual location. Some of the valley locations are going to have some fog tomorrow morning. Clears out rather quickly though, because we do start the day with partly sunny skies. We warm up rather abruptly, right up to near in the low 50s. Clouds thicken up as the day progresses, and. As we move towards the evening hours, we go from partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. As we move into Monday morning, showers begin to work their way in from the west as that front, appro as that front approaches. By 8 a.m., though, most of the rainfall has already slid off to the east. By 1.30 p.m. Monday, we're into the low 50s, and there's plenty of sunshine peeking through. We're going to have breaks of sun on Monday, despite the day starting with rainfall, which not a bad way to start the week, especially with what's coming at the end of it. Tonight, 28 degrees for a low with mostly clear skies, some frost and freeze across the area. 52 degrees tomorrow, clouds increase throughout the day, a sunny morning, mostly cloudy evening, some showers overnight. I'm going to actually stand in front of the seven day for now, talk about Thursday in particular. Widespread rain arrives Wednesday night into Thursday, bringing heavy rainfall for all of central New York. Temperatures drop pretty significantly on Thursday, making for a chilly day on Friday before chances for rain and snow as we move into the weekend.